boys and girls and welcome back to Miss Allen's channel. I hope you guys had a great Memorial Day weekend. We're coming back to school. It is Tuesday, May 26, 2020. It is also each day for hat day. So, Miss Allen has brought a hat that she'll probably wear when she goes on her walk today. This hat is a 302 hat. 302 is our area code where you dial for our phones. This stands for Delaware, and that's another thing you guys are going to be learning this week. This week's theme is all about America, and America is the country we live in. That is why Miss Allen is wearing this hair bow. As you can see on our hair bow, it has blue, white, and red, and that is the colors of our flag in the United States of America. I have a book for you today. This book is called D for democracy. It's gonna tell us going through the alphabet and telling us a letter and then telling us a fact about our country. It's called D for democracy. <clears throat> A, A is for amendment, a fancy word for changing the constitution's authors planned for us long range. These are the rules that the people that started our country wanted us to follow. Here are some suffragettes. They're women who got the right to vote. And this is a man called Uncle Sam. He kind of stands for our country. <clears throat> B. B is for the Bill of Rights. The freedom to express ideas, opinions, and how we want to dress. C. C is for Congress, where the committees are, are a must. Ideas for new laws are thoroughly discussed. So first we see, uh, <clears throat> first we see a man that wrote our Constitution. They are called our forefathers. They wrote the Bill of Rights. Those are given all the rights that we have in the country, like to believe what we think, say what we think, and to be free. Here is the Congress building. It is where men and women go to make new laws for our country. D. D is for democracy, where citizens can choose whom they wish to vote for and freely share their views. Yes, we have a presidential vote this year, and coming up this summer, we have a primary vote. That is where moms and dads will go and pick who they think they want for president. It is one of our rights in this country is to vote. F is for the Founding Fathers, who went to convention. The U.S. Constitution was their wonderful invention. So, back before, a long time ago, there were men and women who didn't want to be a part of Britain anymore. They came together in Philadelphia and wrote a constitution allowing us to become the United States of America. G. G is for the government, the way our country runs, with liberties and rights for everyone. H. H is for House of Representatives, where all sorts of committees work on laws protecting votes in suburbs, towns, and cities. So, one of our rights is to go to school, and then one of the people that help us is called the House of Representatives. They make laws that protect us and help us. is for immigrant. Tired of all the strife, people leave their homes to find a better life. Just, J is for the judicial branch, for justice, judge, and jury. Those who do not break laws never have to worry. So, if you didn't like where you lived in a different country, you could move to America. This makes you an immigrant. Then, we have a judicial system. That is where Judges and things like that try people who have broken laws. But if you never break one of our laws, you'll never have to be there. K. K is for Dr. King, who worked for what was right. He knew that using peaceful ways was better than fight. K is for Dr. King, and we learned all about him in January. He was a great man and a great preacher that taught us about peace and wanted equal rights. He wanted everyone to be the same. <clears throat> L. L is
is for the first lady of the White House resident with a fantastic job and married to the president. M is for the mint and the printed money too that ends up in our pockets of folks like me and you. So, whoever the president is married to is called the first lady. She lives at the White House with him. Then we have a mint. The mint is where they make all the money we use. <clears throat> These pages keep sticking together on this island. N. N is for the nation's capital, where everyone agrees it's delightful to behold the famous cherry trees. O. O is for the oath of office, a time for celebration. Once the election is uh, over, we have an inauguration. So, Washington, D.C. is our capital. It is very famous. It has lots of monuments. The monument that you see besides un behind Uncle Sam is the Washington Monument. He was our first president. It is surrounded by all those beautiful cherry trees. Over here, we have a president who just got elected and he's, he's swearing in to the oath of office. That means he's taking over being president. <clears throat> P. P is for political party with the idea and ideas that represent how the poli politicians should run our government. all of us should ask taking part in democracy in every citizen's task R R is for religious freedom folks across the sea like it better in a place where others can be let be so we should ask questions to make our own opinions and we can believe whatever religion we want in our country we can all be and feel whatever the way we feel in our religion S is for the Senate. It helps com communicate the needs of all people from every single state. T is for taxes, no longer fees for kings. Now our money pays, helps to pay for thousands of different things. We have another body in Congress called the Senate. Again, there's people from Delaware who go and represent our beliefs. Everybody has to pay taxes. Taxes help build things like new bridges and new roads. You is for Uncle Sam. Don't forget to mention he's not a real man, but an old cartoon invention. V is for the voters. When people use their votes, they get the best results to express their own choices. So like they said, Uncle Sam was a cartoon character that was created. He's not a real person. And V is for voting. Like Miss Allen told you, you get to vote about what you think. We will be voting on a new president soon. W is for Washington and presidents down the years for working long and working hard. We give them three cheers. So here's a picture. You see George Washington and he's actually crossing the Delaware River. And then you see a bunch of other presidents. Bill Clinton, Nixon, Theodore Roosevelt, Abraham Lincoln are some of the ones Miss Allen recognizes. But they were all presidents. Every four years, we vote for a new president. If they get voted back in, they stay for eight years. But they're only allowed to be president for eight years. X marks the spot for meeting one fall, the very first Congress in Philadelphia's Carper, Carpenter's Hall. Why? You can be for you and me in the spirit of improvement. We'll organize some friends, ours, and start a new movement. So, X marked the spot. Like I said, the first place that we decided that we wanted to be a country was in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And you guys can actually go visit that. Why is for you and me. It is our right to think how we want to think and come up with some new ideas. Everybody important is this. Z. Z is for the excitement in the air that it was a hard work ahead with freedom to declare. We want you to get involved. The end. So this is our first book on our week 
talking about America. I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. And if you want to, you can wear your red, white, and blue too. I hope you guys have a great day. I love you and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.